Hey guys, I'm Powered Up Mike, and this is something new, Bubble Spinner 2. And right off the bat, this music, if you look up the C above by this artist, her name is spelled C-H-Z-Z, -Z, you'll find an uncompressed version of the song on YouTube, and it's beautiful. Anyways, into the game, Bubble Spinner 2, it's probably one of the most important games I've ever played in my life. Well, it all starts back in 2010, when the Addicting Games Showdown was going on at Nickelodeon. One of the games featured was, well, Bubble Spinner 2. And Jeff Sutphin, I believe he was hosting it at the time, shared this game and said, Pop, 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 and you just can't stop. And there it was. All the colors, the pretty music, the cute little sound effects. My young child self was captivated by it. And even though I didn't have access to a computer at the time, I was going on vacation, and we were staying at my grandma's house on the way, I knew I had to find a computer to play this game on. And so, on a hotel computer, yes, a public computer that guests could use, I remember logging on just to play this game, and I pretty much fell in love with it. The simple, charming gameplay, beautiful music, it made me want to play more Flash games, and that fall, we're going back 12 years, it made me want to play more Flash games. Just more and more, and that was kind of my child self obsession at the time, just playing Flash games. Besides, it was free, they were easy access, and... But the thing is, these Flash games they made me want to play more games, too, which led to me, you know, wanting more games for my Wii and loving games more. Eventually led me to start my own YouTube channel in 2014. And almost eight years later, here I am. And I kind of owe this, you know, current success to this, my current success on YouTube, that is, to this game. And for the Addicting Games Showdown. Now, how am I playing this with... Out Flash? Well, the Ruffle emulator. It's a Chrome browser extension. It's free. You install it, and if your Flash game's compatible, I think it's Action Script or whatever. Yeah! You can just play away, and. I'm, th I'm doing this on the Bubblebox website, which is also one of the many websites I grew up going to. It still exists today, and. I still got plenty of good Flash games playable with, you know, the Ruffle emulator thing, or whatever you want to call it. But if you don't have a browser extension, the first Bubble Spinner game is available on Addicting Games, and it was remade without use of Flash. Performance isn't as sharp, but hey, it's still something. But yeah, it's just one of those endless scoring games. I wouldn't call it a time waster game simply because it's calming. It's just a perfect little game to, you know, decompress. Just relax, decompress, enjoy it. Oh yeah! In one of my high school English classes, literally the night before class shut down, I did an English class vlog. Yes, we did vlog projects in that class. It was pretty fun. I remember showcasing this game and doing a little review on it. My teacher liked it. And of course, I was able to have a whole dramatic. Since this recording, the game is no longer accessible. I don't think the Ruffle emulator was out yet, and it was only accessible through archives, like Flashpoint. But anywho... Yeah. I can li I'll link this game in the description. Again, I highly recommend it. But yeah, just shoot. Shoot up the bubbles. Get three in a row. Score points. Even though I hit the edge, that's okay. I still had fun. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. And before I go, yes, I will be making this a series. A, an almost weekly series, but... Still, I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, bye!